Hi everybody, it's Daniel with Funiculated Projects and I have a really fun project next to me right now. I did not make this, uh, I was asked to modify it, to repair and modify it. What is sitting next to me, uh, obviously it's plugged in, is a mandalele, a bed pandalele. It was originally a mandolin. It belongs to a friend of mine, and from what I understand, it belonged to a friend of hers and was hanging on a wall as a wall decoration for like 30 or 40 years. And since that gentleman is up on in years, has decided he wanted to start you know, giving away some of his things, knowing he's not gonna be around forever. And uh, she got this. Uh, when she got it, you know, she thought, well, you know, I don't play mandolin, but I do play ukulele. Maybe it can be made into something that's ukulele that uh, she could use. Um, she wants, she does like, she does all kinds of music. And so she's thinking maybe of, you know, using it for like bluesy stuff. And she asked if I could, you know, turn it into an ukulele. And I said, well, yeah, you know, you've got, you've got the four courses of strings and we can make them, you know, G, C, E, and A instead of uh, G, D, A, E. Uh, it did have an issue, and the, the biggest issue that it had was that the adjustable bridge uh, saddle setup that, maybe if I hold this like so, uh, so the camera can sort of get it. Here are, are little nuts that go on threaded rod and the saddle actually lifts up and down above the bridge as you adjust the action on the mandolin. Or not, not all, like the bullback mandolins don't do that, but a lot of the arch shot mandolins you can adjust like this. Um, the bridge that came with it was um, missing a nut and it had a threaded rod that, that I could not get from my sources and I couldn't put a modern threaded rod in it. So what I ended, and what I was also missing, not a nut, it was, it was, no, actually that's right, it was a nut. It was missing the, the, the threaded nut on the threaded rod, not the instrument nut, but it was missing this nut too. There was no nut here and the bridge was not functioning. So I had to get a nut blank and I had to, um, you know, file all the slots to the right height. And I also had to get a new bridge and uh, saddle set up. That presented some challenges because you see the newer bridge saddle setup was actually narrower, you know, width-wise this way. You probably can't see that this way than the old one and a little taller. Well, uh, what I had to do is I had to make little feet that would go on either side of the end of the bridge, the part that fits inside to the, the, uh, the holes for, for the toilet paper holder. I think that's really cute, you know, that the, uh, the bridge saddle is made from a, the, the holder for that is made from a toilet paper holder inside a bedpan. Now, what I ended up doing was, uh, as I said, I made the feet. And then the other issue I had was that the, the saddle itself was too tall. And I couldn't just shave any wood off the top because with the way these threaded rods work is they put pressure on the, the saddle on these sides, like here, here and here, but you know, underneath that, that wood. And if it gets too thin, they'll pop through. So I had to actually remove the, uh, the wood from the bottom. Another thing I had to do is I actually had to sand a little bevel into, into the, uh, the bottom of the bridge. So it would sit in the unusual shape of the, toilet paper holder. I may have a photo of that. I have a photo of these different things. I'll put them up. Uh, lastly, the thing that had to be done on this is that these electronics are extremely old. The wires are all you know, rotted and whatnot. They don't work. And so rather than put uh, new electronics, you know, like a, a new active setup with uh, knobs and whatnot, which would be extra expense for something that's basically just a novelty item that that my friend wants to be a, a fun, somewhat functional novelty item. I said, well, what we could do is put a passive pickup in it. 
And so that's, she liked that idea. So it's got a two transducer pass a pickup. The transducers are here and here. And I opted for going there. It's technically be more resonant back here. But as you can tell, actually I, I turned the amp down so I don't wake my neighbor up. But if it's turned up at all, any movement and you'll hear. I'm not even going to try to play this. It's right-handed. It's a, it's a you know four-course instrument. It's such a narrow neck, and I'm you know you know, I have trouble playing ukuleles upside down, let alone a, a mandolin. I might try just to get through the C scale. instrument. Uh, she's actually going to do, my friend's going to do slide with it, do different things. You know, she, she has all kinds of ideas. And so um, I hope she enjoys it. It was a fun, uh, very unique project to work on. Uh, and so I just had to share it with you. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, <laughs> I get it. I laugh every time. It, it's just, it's cute. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you in the next video.